with me friend Gary and this is our first video for our group that we've um, been talking about starting up called Paranormal Afterlife or PAL for short and we've been and where we are now is on the uh, Burlish top where was there was once a an army camp on here in World War Two and it was for the Americans and uh, we've been over here oh, how long was it a few weeks ago maybe a month uh, a couple of weeks ago at least did a few uh, like spirit box session didn't we and uh, that went quite interesting mainly in one area which is much further over there we got which I'll put later in the video but we got like a voice saying leave we got leave, we've got, the whistle. We've got whistling we, you well, what else did we get we got someone saying I don't suppose you know and then you hear the, the word Joe mm -hmm. oh, you got stuff on your phone which um, well it was saying stuff like Europe cup which was weird we just had a cup of tea Friendship. Friendship. What was the other one? Europe. Mm, I did, that one, really. did I? Mm. It's been a long day, but yeah, and uh, we just, but we didn't video any of that. But luckily, we've still, I've still got some of the recordings from that day, so they'll be in the video later. But right now, we're just gonna give it another shot on here whilst it's not tipping down of rain, and uh, I'll show you now on this map. It's on this uh, sort of memorial stone. I'll show you on the map it's on here about where we roughly are and where we were last time. Right, so as you can, as the map says, there we are, which going by maps that I've got in a book at home and looked up online, I believe that was an old coal house. Here is the old surgical wings. This little black dot is a pool, which no one knows if it's natural or man-made. I think it's man-made because it's got like concrete sides to it. But just here is where me and Gary caught all the stuff that I just mentioned, which like I say, I'll put in the video later. And we don't know what this building was. On any map we've looked at, nothing says what that is. But just about here, there's like, what was it, surgical, the operating theatre and a pharmacy. Just about here, it was the uh, mess hall and kitchens. And somewhere around here was, um, I think it was the x-ray room. So that's all that there, but, and on the maps it says what everything is, but not that. And it's really getting us because we got so much there. So that's where we're hopefully going to head back to in a bit before we have to go. But right now we're going to take a walk along this path. Which if I zoom in, you can see a bit of brick wall. That's what's left of one of the uh, old surgical wings. And that will lead us to the pool. And then we'll go along this path that still exists. And we'll carry on video in there and hopefully catch some more EVPs. All right then, let's go. I won't lie, just seeing you walking around it as I'm walking around it, it kind of looks like we're just like about to get ready to quick draw. It's like... <laughs> right then. I'll tell you what, you look at this on the on Google Earth now and you compare it to old aerial photos and maps. It's, hard, it's hardly recognisable, is it? You know, you can barely see anything. Of what was once here, you might catch, you might see the odd ruin layout. It's not that Shield way yeah. yeah. Now here and above this wall and all up there, I would say is probably where the most amount of ruins it still is. I would say there's more ruins of old buildings here than anywhere else. I'd say all in one place. If that makes sense. It's a, it's a bit of a brick brick wall there. There's more over there. I mean, if anything, we can pop up there now, actually, and see if we can catch anything. I think Gary might have caught something. We'll, we'll go and check in a second. Let's have a quick look here. Any old soldiers here? Please come forward. Have to 
if need be, use mine or Gary's energy, or even some of the device in my hand's energy. Gary wants me a second. So the EVPs I'm about to play are from the area of the Burlish that you've just seen me and Gary in on those clips, which is the surgical wings. And we caught some of these on video camera and others we didn't, but luckily I uh, had the spirit box recording. So here's the first one. I'll play it a few times for you now. Now to me and Gary it sounds like she's saying she's poisoned. It's quite clearly a woman's voice but it sounds like she's saying she's poisoned. I'll play it one more time and we'll move on to the next one. But uh, Maybe uh, some of you out there can put your ear to the to your phone or laptop whatever you're using and uh, see if you come up with anything different or not. Just let us know in the comments. Well, right, here's the next one we caught. Now, to me, uh, that one always creeps me out a bit. It sounds like someone saying, we can't hear the first bit, but to me, you can clearly hear the lady saying, you're dying. It's the way she says it, it's kind of creepy. I'll play it one more time and then move on to the next bit. It's so weird. And this one, if I'm this one, can't really make this one out. I've got a theory, but I'm not too sh sure about if I'm not too sure about my own theory, if that makes sense, but I'll play it for you. Now my theory is that if you was to try and make that clearer, it sounds like someone with a strong sort of American accent of, I don't know, let's say Texas way or something. It sounds like someone going out of the way, boy, but it sounds really sort of slightly muffled. But that's what I am guessing he's saying, but I'm not really too sure. But uh, I'll play it one more time and I'll move into the last one, which is quite quiet. But... Uh, See what you all make out and when listening to it and let us know in the comments. Right, so this next one uh, is, is I've tried to amplify the audio but it's you know as best I can but it's still quiet so you might have to quite literally put your ears to your speakers. But I'm pretty sure this one is a woman saying I'm Rachel. And I'm sure not long before that, I'm pretty positive I asked out, do you have a name? But uh, see what you all think. I got, to me, I can definitely hear Rachel. Okay, play it one more time, we'll move on to the next EVP. Next one down now. This there's two there as you can see. Now they're the same one. To me, it sounds clear. 
what this person's saying, but I've got one at normal speed, one slowed down. So it's on mute. Now this, because of the area we was in, Gary was was calling out, asking if anyone wants a medic to sort of a, try and trigger something. And to me, this, and, and Gary, it sounds like someone's saying, help me. Could be hold me, but I'm more or less swaying towards help me. So here's what the, I believe it's the normal speed. This is slightly slowed down. Now, uh, you can make your own deduction on what you think that is, but it, to me, it's clearly saying, "Help me." chance it says hold me but as I say I'm swaying towards help me but okay moving on to the next clips and then the next EVPs well where me and Gary are stood now is literally on this little platform and it's where General George S. Patton did his speech and over this little bit of fence marker with a helmet and uh, I haven't been to this bit before which is crazy because I've lived around this area all my life but Gary has and as he's just said to me you can just literally picture all the soldiers just stood all in this field whilst the general's here giving his speech it's quite something when you think about it And if any of you are wondering what that speech is, well, a group who I think are called Burlish Top Project, uh, some years ago reenacted that speech. So I'll put a link to that in this video. But when they, when they reenacted the speech, they did it in a different section. Now that's an extract. But the actual speech is uh, a lot more colourful and sweary than that. Mm. <laughs> what is with this video I watched? How did you feel on that day when the general gave his speech right here? Happy, uplifted. Right, so these EVPs are from the clip you've just seen from the site where George Patton gave his speech. Now, this first bit, I can hear something there, but I just can't for the life of me figure out what so I'm going to play it a few times and uh, see what you all think oh, I can hear something like toys but that's not even a word well at least I don't think it is Uh, this next one is I'm pretty sure this next one is a yes because I had literally just asked the question and you hear me do it in the video how did you feel uh, about when the speech was given did you feel happy or uplifted and 
I've tried to enhance it as best I can. To me, I can definitely hear a yes, but I'll play it one more time and then we'll move on to the next clips and then the next EVPs. Okay. Alright, this bit of wall you see here, that stretches back all the way over there, and there's more of these going in an angle all the way down there. That's part of the uh, surgical wings as well. And just over there is where the operating theatre and pharmacy was. And it was here, I don't know if you can actually, there's the bit of wall, and there is the other foundation, it's just there at a slight angle. And if you remember that map I showed earlier on that massive stone, the pictures, you'll notice these. And if you remember that on that map I pointed out a building, which um, no matter what research we do, we can't find out what it was, or well, that building, is in there or was in there rather we don't know what it is as i say but it's where we caught a fair few things whistle as we said earlier whistling a few voices stuff on gary's phone which i don't think we got any screenshots of did we but some words on there so we're gonna quickly go over there now before it gets dark and late and quickly see if we can pick up anything I don't know, I've had to turn the camera around because we're already getting spikes on the EMF. I don't think they've come to that quick. So, is there any spirits here that remember us from being here last time? We caught your voice. We know you spoke to us. Oh. I'm correct. It sounded like one of you said leave to us last time. Am I right? So some of you are giving Gary, my friend here, messages on his phone. And you seem to be intelligent, because you... What the fuck? <clears throat> anyway. As I was saying... You seem to be intelligent, because on Gary's phone, you were giving him some intelligent answers, like you recognised that we were drinking out of cups, because you said cup to hit on his device. You said friends, which we are. You said Europe, which if you're American, of course, well, you're in Europe. So wherever you are, come here and speak again. And I know you're here, I mean you're, you're giving off spikes on the device here, making the lights flash. Do you recognise the coat that Gary's just put on? Sure you do, it's from your time. What did you just say? We know you're here.
sound of that plane brings back some memories. Anyway, what was it you, you said to us about a few moments ago? I know you said something in that device, just didn't hear what. Hello, Sprechen die Deutsch? Ist du Deutsch? Was ist dein Name? Sure you recognize that accent. Was ist dein Name? Du bist sehr scheiße. Scheiße. Do you know what he's saying? If you do, translate it for me in that device. What was the building that once stood here? Because we don't know. Can't find it marked down anywhere. Is it something secret? Is it any form of prison for prisoners of war? Say that again. What once stood so what what was the building that once stood here used for? Tell me, what was it? He said something when I said, was it something secret? Was it a prison for prisoners of war? Am I right on that? Come on, what was this used for? The building it once stood here. Going by maps, it was a big building. Du bist Deutsch?
said, whatever stood here was a big building. It must have been used for something important. The maps clearly show it was big. Must be tough. Or something, because this K2 meter keeps flashing down. Very regularly. What the hell was that? Nah. When I review it all later, I'll try and slow it down and do what I can to enhance it. I swear I've noticed a pattern any time. I don't know. Anything. Just flashed again. I don't think anything specific we say. I think it flashes. I'm gonna have to review the video to be sure. Like any time we say something specific, like when I said what was once here was it a prison for prisoners of war? It flashes. It flashed. Just flashed. Are you offended by what Gary is wearing? Do you feel offended for the coat he's wearing? He's wearing a coat from what your enemies would wear. What do you think about that? Tell us. So these EVPs are from the clip you would have just seen at the area that me and Gary had been to once before and got a fair few voices, which will be the next load of EVPs. Now here's the first bit. I can't make out what it is, but maybe you can. Doesn't help that it happened just as I was speaking, so... This one, this next one, is a definite favourite because even in the video, to me, you can hear this clearly without me having to slow it down or anything. It just sounds like a lady with potentially a Cornish accent, I think, saying it's not there. It's really weird. This is definitely a favourite because it's clear as day. Not there. Not there. Okay. Not there. And you can't really hear much in these, but maybe you can, so we'll play these ones. Just as I had to slow that down because at normal speed that goes so fast, so I've had to slow that down. But even then, I can't make out anything. Okay, and then there's a bit of something at the end here. I think it's just static noise, I think. Try it one more time. I mean, I can't hear anything, but...
Right, so these EVPs are actually audio extracts from the two clips you just saw from Gary's phone. Now, this first one is of the whistling, which I've tried to enhance. So here we go. Definitely sounds like a person whistling because even on the day when Gary listened back to this, he um, he turned to me and was like, "Were you were you just whistling, Paul?" I'm like, "Nope." Okay, this one is again from the clip you would have just seen from Gary's phone, and it sounds like someone saying "leave." I mean, I always slightly debated if it said leave or lee but um the tone of the voice sounds more like someone who's a bit ticked off and is telling us to leave but to see what you think i've tried to enhance it yeah, to me it definitely does sound like someone ticked off telling us to leave but uh, but again i've Sometimes thought if it's saying Lee and it could be someone trying to get someone's attention called Lee. Play it one more time and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Now this one is where you, you can just about hear Gary say, saying to me, go on, help yourself. Because we were just about to have a cup of tea. He had brought a flask over. And he says that and then you hear a whistle... Uh, a, like a whisper saying I don't suppose you know and then very shortly after that you hear what sounds like Joe and uh, we've got some debates about what this all means I'll explain them in a minute so help find mute it and here we go Shortly after, you hear what sounds like Joe. So here we go. This is a building. Okay, let's try that again. And one more time. We do have some theories, we're like, is it someone asking another spirit, I don't suppose you know, and then someone's replying, Joe, is in, are we drinking a cup of Joe, which is uh, American slang for coffee, or it could be someone asking another spirit, saying, I don't suppose you know, I don't suppose you know Joe, it is a few theories uh, that we're racking around with about what this might mean. But to me, that's quite clear, and that was on the first time me ever using my spirit box, so I was really impressed with that. So, um, but yeah, the other two above were from Gary's phone, as I said. Okay, then, um, let us let me and Gary know in the comments what you think about all these EVPs that you've listened to, and uh, thanks for watching.